<laughs> well, thanks, guys. Uh, yeah, my wife went to this university, so it's kind of fun just getting a little tour. To All right, I I can really believe that uh, teachers work too much. Start with that. I actually believe there's also <laughs> also believe there are, are two types of teachers. Actually, I'm going to say that there are two types of people. Since well, you know, teachers are are people. Um, so I think I'll just probably screw with that. But you know, so I'm going to realize and say <laughs> there are two types of people in this world. There are those who are passionate about what they do. And every day they get up and they're, they're doing what they do because they're passionate about it and they couldn't imagine doing anything different. And then there are those people who just go about life doing something, but they're really looking for, you know, let's say, the weekend. And it's kind of a toil. Now, I've, I've worked in a variety of different schools. I, I feel like I've been very privileged. I've worked in a private school. I, I worked in a very highly migrant Title I school. I worked uh, in alternative ed for a few years, and I, and I even worked in a more, I guess you would call it, um, middle class, upper middle class mainstream school. And I think in every single one of those schools, I can vouch that teachers universally are all that first type of person, right? We are doing the business of education because we love it. We're passionate about it. That's why we're here. Uh, I spent a lot of years mentoring young teachers, and I, I found as time went on, more and more work seemed to be kind of getting piled on to young teachers. The work assignments became more and more difficult. And I think as time went on, I started to get this feeling that some teachers were grabbing to that other kind of person, that, that person that wasn't necessarily as excited and passionate about education as they once were. They were just living for the weekend now. And at first, that didn't really bother me too much, because I was you know, maybe I'm not, maybe I just make myself a bad person. I don't know. I was just like, whatever. I'm just going to do my thing in my classroom. And it can be that way. I just kind of didn't let it bother me. But then my wife came to me one day and said something that completely changed my world. She said, honey, I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> True story. <laughs> and I started thinking about this. So now I have a four-year-old son. And I'm like, he's going to be going into kindergarten next year. And I want his kindergarten teacher to be that first type of person. That person is absolutely passionate about teaching. I want his kindergarten teacher to be the kind of person that doesn't want to do anything else other than teach kindergarten. I want that. And I started to realize it isn't okay. If, teacher, if there is something I can do to help teachers not be that living for the weekend, second, second type of person, then I need to do that. And ultimately, that's what led me to the path where I am today. And, and why I founded uh, Art Education as a software company. 